We're watching out for the next tropical cyclone in the Atlantic. Invest 92L is currently located over the southeastern United States as a tropical disturbance near 32 North 83 West. With winds of 20 miles per hour at 11 a.m. Eastern Time this July 8th. The CDPS scale for Port O'Connor, Texas for July 13th is where the models have the storm ending up, or at least the GFS does for the time being. That might change, of course. Stage 1 projected, though, with rainfall being the biggest of the threats. So looking at the system's current position, here it is right now, um, as you can see over a uh, part of uh, central or southern Georgia and it's going to end up moving towards the southwest out into the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, at the moment its distance is in miles from some of these locations, most of them predominantly in Georgia, um, and around 137 miles from Tallahassee, Florida, which is where it's going to end up before moving out over the water. How much and uh, you know how far south it tracks will be quite key uh, in this because it, one thing it will have more time over water and the waters will be warmer the further out it goes from land as well so that could really instigate some significant intensification this is the total rainfall amount expected in the next five days a rather glitchy graphic admittedly uh, but if you see any of the pink areas there those are around four uh, inches of rain or higher so you're looking at from what we can see here, parts of uh, southern Louisiana, coastal Louisiana along the coast there, uh, could be getting up to maybe six inches, and that will probably be the hot spot in terms of rainfall. Sea surface temperatures are very warm in the area. The Gulf of Mexico has warmed up quite a lot in the last week in particular, especially near the coast of Florida, uh, up to around 30, maybe even 31 degrees Celsius. What you're looking out for on this graphic is any spots of green. This is the GFS model as we enter this week. Um, now you probably won't see any green because the GFS doesn't quite predict a tropical storm out of this, but you can see the disturbance now moving along towards the west there over the Gulf of Mexico late on this week and then tracking towards Texas where it will make landfall uh, by the end of the weekend. That's the GFS model. The ECMWF is calling for a landfall on the border between uh, Texas and Louisiana as a tropical storm. The chances of tropical storm force winds as such then, these are the cold hard facts now, 10% in Mobile, 30% in New Orleans, 40% in Lake Charles, 40% in Galveston and 20% in Victoria, Texas. So that is how we're shaping up right now, those percentages will be refined over time. Looking across the local National Weather Service offices, Tallahassee is currently putting out that graphic. The Mobile office doing something very similar, 80% in the next five days for this system. New Orleans is talking about heat in the western part of Louisiana and Lake Charles as well with heat indices up to 107 in some areas. Houston is talking about the system as well as, as we see there, the 80% chance and in Corpus Christi, 105 degree heat index in Laredo today. Looking at some satellite imagery right now, there really isn't much to see. What you will notice over the next uh, few days is that convection will start to flare up over southern Georgia, the Florida Panhandle, and then out into the Gulf. And then in about two days, maybe, we'll start to see something really starting to take shape as it enters the Gulf of Mexico. At the minute, this is just very much an early warning uh, system, I suppose you could say, this update, uh, because there isn't much to track right now, but there will be pretty soon. We'll be watching it very closely. Check back for updates. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for tropical weather chat in our description.